Okay. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's how to choose a model for film and photography. Uh, easiest way to find a model, obviously, to start with the model mayhem and sites like that. Uh, look at the Facebook and the Instagram pages. Uh, that's where most of the models have their profiles, and you can see they are legit and real, real people. <clears throat> see if you have any common friends who can do it uh, for, for you an introduction and who are legit and uh, who make sure that she's also real. Uh, ask for her uh, phone number and email so you can verify that it's not a diva and you can actually communicate properly with the person prior to production. It's very important so you know you plan the set, location, everything and the uh, model doesn't show up. That not might not be good. Uh, see if uh, there is an opportunity to verify if she comes on time and prepared and uh, knows the pose and the facial expressions because if she comes and uh, there is no makeup and hair and uh, she doesn't know what to do and uh, she's not really into it, uh, that might ruin the uh, end result. <coughs> uh, feel if model uh, would be uh, a trouble after the production with the release. So let's say you film amazing content and then model say, oh, you can't film that, you can show that, my boyfriend, my family, uh, I, choose, like, I want more money, I want to not to show this. So you wanna make sure that uh, she, she does have the right or, uh, rights to work in the United States and she uh, have not blackmailed other parties in the past. So that might be a red flag, okay? Uh, understand uh, the reasoning why a model models uh, because of the money because it's fun for her because she wants to get married and because she wants to uh, get a publication it's really important to understand the logic uh, in her mind what's important so that way you can appeal and properly find a model that fits your budget or fits your strategy uh, see what you can offer to her that can uh, be uh, that she might actually warn and be concerned for her safety. Uh, maybe a, a famous uh, studio escort uh, for with her uh, transportation for to and from the set, food and drinks at the set. So those things, if the person is hungry and feel that you have a great uh, food at the set, they might uh, come and even small things like that might make a difference. Um, if there is a guarantee publication, that also makes a big difference uh, with the model. Usually girls don't want to waste their time. If there is a, a definite publication out of it coming, then uh, there is a big chance that uh, many girls and the proper ones will say yes. And you can get a proper talent. Uh, do you have a backup replacement for her? And what if she gets sick or it doesn't come or some kind of emergency appear, which uh, often happens with models. So you want to make sure that uh, you have a backup uh, uh, talent. If she uh, uh, comfortable with the wardrobe, uh, because uh, you know, what if she doesn't want to wear what you envision or makeup and, and hairstyle that you provide uh, or not provide. So make sure that uh, those things uh, are kind of covered. Uh, what are uh, the backup options that you have? All those things uh, makes a difference when you uh, uh, choose a model uh, for filming or photography. Uh, hopefully uh, that has been a little bit useful for you. And if you have suggestions or advice, uh, please comment uh, and uh, like and follow uh, my production and I'll be grateful. Thank you. Maybe you can come to my production.